Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson and today I want to talk to you about my video export settings that I use whenever I'm exporting Instagram videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. This is my third video in my three-part video series about my video export settings. In the first video I talked about my 4K export settings, in the second video I talked about my 1080p export settings, and in this video we're going to be talking about my Instagram export settings. And if you're more of a reader than a watcher, I'm going to include links in the description of this video to my website and to the three articles that I'm going to have written with pictures showing step by step all of my settings that I use whenever I am exporting my videos. So if you would rather read instead of watch, there is an option for you in the description of this video. But for now, for you watchers, let's talk about my Instagram export settings. All right guys, welcome to Adobe CC 2017. Up here at the help tab, I'm gonna go to about and you're gonna see that I'm running version 2017.0.2. So if your version is different, that should be okay. I just want you to know, so if my stuff looks different than yours, that's why. As you can see, I've already created a sequence and put a video clip into it. So let's click on sequence and let's go to the sequence settings. I want you to know about this because I am gonna be exporting this video at 23.976 frames per second, but I'm not gonna be exporting it at 3840 by 2160 because Instagram definitely does not support 4K. What it does support is 16 by nine widescreen videos. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay on this. And you're gonna see that I've already put the clip down in the timeline. It's a really cool boat time lapse that I did a while back with stars and stuff. It's real cool. Let's say I wanna render this and put it on Instagram. Let's go to the beginning of our video clip and press the I key. Then let's go to the end of our video clip and press the O key. And that's gonna set our in and our out point for the video, which is how Premiere tells what part of the video you want to render. After we've done that, you can either press Control M to bring up the export settings dialog box, or you can go to File, Export, Media. And that's gonna bring up the export settings, which is what we're gonna talk about next. Now, before we talk about my export settings, we need to address Instagram's visual quality. Namely, whenever people contact me, email me, comment on something, saying, hey, I'm having difficulty uploading my edited video to Instagram, it is invariably because of two reasons. The first reason is that they are uploading a 1920 by 1080 HD video file to Instagram, a video platform whose maximum resolution is 640 by 640 in the square box format. That's it. Yes, in this day and age, 2017, the main visual video sharing platform aside from YouTube that's the most popular right now on mobile phones, Instagram, is standard definition. We have 4K cell phones now, and for some reason, this video platform is standard definition. It blows my mind. I have no idea why this is still going on, aside from maybe Facebook is just cheap and doesn't wanna play for the extra storage space. I don't know. Regardless, what happens whenever you upload your large 1920 by 1080 HD video file to the tiny Instagram 640 by 360, the app is gonna resize it and it's not gonna do a good job of it. The second reason that people have issues uploading their edited videos to Instagram has to do with the bit rate of the video that they're uploading. So not only are they updating a very large high definition video, they're also uploading a video that has a very high bit rate, which Instagram does not like. So if you have some video file and the bit rate is 20 megabits per second, you're like, oh, it looks great. Here we go, 1080p, it's gonna look awesome. And you're down resing it to Instagram, Instagram compression is terrible. So whenever you upload your big file, it's gonna do a quick and dirty compression on it to make it fit on the site. And that horrible compression that it's applying makes your video suck. So in summary, if you upload a video file that is too high of resolution and to have a bit rate, it's gonna look terrible on Instagram. The workaround for this is to upload a video that is the proper resolution for Instagram and the proper bit rate, which I'm gonna share with you now. First, under export settings for format, we're gonna select H.264. And for preset, we're gonna go up to custom. Next, you're gonna check your output name and you're gonna select where you want to save your video file. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have export video and export audio checked if you are uploading video with audio to Instagram. Below that, you have the summary heading that you do not need to mess with. And below that, you have different tabs, effects, video, audio, multiplexer, captions, and publish. The only two tabs you need to concern yourself with are video and audio. We can ignore everything else. On to basic video settings. Now before you go adjusting your width and your height, go down to profile and set it to main and go to level and set it to 3.1. Up here you'll see that your width and height have now changed to 720 by 480. So we're gonna go up here to width and we're gonna choose 640, which is Instagram's maximum width. And we're gonna go over here to height and we're gonna change it to 360, which is the height for a widescreen Instagram video. And as you can see, it is now 16 by nine. So yes, we are taking a 4K video file 
and we are down resing it to standard definition so it works on Instagram. It pains me, but we gotta do it just so it looks good. Frame rate, let's change that to 23.976. Field order progressive, aspect square pixels 1.0. Make sure you check render at maximum bit depth because that will help your video look better as well as it can on Instagram. On to bitrate settings. And if you wanna understand what VBR and CBR is and other things like that, I would highly recommend watching my 4K export settings video where I go into detail about what all this means. But for now, for the sake of brevity, we are gonna select VBR2 pass and your target bitrate is going to be three. And your maximum bitrate is going to be four, which is so small I know, but remember this is only a standard definition video file, so that is enough. With these bitrate settings, let's look down here at our estimated file size, which is four megabytes. And if you look at our duration of our video clip here, it is 11 seconds. This is about the perfect file size for this video length. Do you remember back in the day whenever Instagram was only 15 seconds? Like what, 15 seconds? Now it's like a whole minute? Like thanks Instagram, this is crazy now. We have four times the length. But back in the day whenever it was only 15 seconds, a five megabyte video file was just about perfect for uploading. Now that they've increased the video length to one minute though, whenever you import your one minute long video file with these bitrate settings, you can expect the estimated file size to be around 20 megabytes. And that is still about perfect for that length of a video. But if your video is like 25 megabytes or 30, it's starting to creep up higher, I would lower the target bitrate even more. Maybe down to like 2.5 if you needed to. And you can see that that drops my estimated file size down to three megabytes, but it may drop yours down a few megabytes because 20 megabytes is about the sweet spot target that you wanna hit. If you're a couple over, a couple under, it's fine. But 20 is about the best that you can expect. And you're probably like, Matt, why am I keeping the bitrate so low? Because this is standard definition, and like I said, Instagram is gonna be compressing the snot out of your video. But if you start uploading your video at this bitrate and this resolution, Instagram is gonna apply significantly less compression to it, and it's gonna look better than you would if you had used a large video file with a large bitrate. On to audio settings, we're almost done, I promise. There's gonna be a few tweaks here, but nothing crazy. Audio format AAC, audio codec AAC, sample rate 44,100, channels mono. Audio quality high, of course, and your bit rate can be set to 160, which is currently the maximum this thing allows, and that is plenty for Instagram, especially if it's playing over like a little dinky phone speaker. Once all your audio settings are done, make sure you have the use maximum render quality box checked, and let's save all these video settings as a preset. So let's go up here to the little down arrow to save a preset, and let's call this Instagram. 640 X360 23.976. So that way we know the resolution, the frame rate, and that we made this for Instagram. Let's click OK, and that's going to save our preset. Now your preset's saved, and you're ready to export your video. Next, you're gonna click Render, and I would recommend using either Google Drive or Dropbox to transfer those video files to your phone. I'll include links to both of those free services in the description of this video. Once the video file is on your phone, open up Instagram, select it, and upload, and enjoy your Instagram video that you've just made. That's about it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one below or get in touch with me through my website, whoismat.com. It is also a huge help to me if you would consider liking this video, and if you're interested in more filmmaker training and tutorials like this in the future, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Lastly, if you want to check out my wedding film production company, it's Filmstrong Productions at filmstrong.com. Thanks and have a great day.